Immigration is taking center stage on Capitol Hill as the crisis along the U.S.-Mexico border continues to grow. According to U.S. Border Patrol statistics, besides thousands of adults and families, more than 600 unaccompanied migrant children are showing up to the border each day. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric? Well, Tracy, it's such a crisis that over the weekend, the Biden administration has asked the Federal Emergency Management Agency, also known as FEMA, to help provide support along the border. Now, Republicans say if FEMA is involved, by definition, it's a disaster. We must address this crisis at the border that is spiraling out of control and is entirely caused by the actions of this administration. Republicans say once President Joe Biden announced it was his priority to offer citizenship for 11 million undocumented immigrants, he opened the floodgates. Last month alone, 100,000 migrants were encountered attempting to illegally cross the border, and more than 4,200 undocumented children are currently in custody right now. Arizona Congresswoman Debbie Lesko tells me she's heard concerns from city mayors along the border about the amount of undocumented immigrants being released into their communities. Some of them aren't even being tested for COVID. So this is a health uh, issue. It's an economic issue. I asked House Speaker Nancy Pelosi about the border. She pointed fingers at former President Donald Trump, insinuating that he's to blame for the crisis. I trust uh, the uh, Biden administration's policy to be based on humanitarian uh, and love of children rather than uh, political points or red meat for their ba for the Republican base. The Biden administration says the next step is to look at solutions like rebuilding safe and efficient procedures to process these migrants and continue working with international organizations. When we talk about the border not being open, and, you know, the ways in which we're trying to dissuade people from making, making that dangerous journeys, the smugglers are conveying exactly the opposite to people. And this week, the House is scheduled to vote on two immigration bills. The first one is called the Dream and Promise Act. It provides a path for the dreamers out there to get citizenship. Uh, those are the illegal young immigrants who came over as children. And the other one is the Farm Modernization Citizenship Act. That's to provide a path to citizenship for the farm labor workers out there. Tracy? Eric, I know about a year ago during the Trump administration, uh, you traveled to the U.S.-Mexico border. What exactly did you see there? Well, I certainly did. I spent about seven days with the U.S. Border Patrol. I saw Nicaraguans, Hondurans, and the uh, Guatemalans out there. But I also saw people from China and Africans and Middle Easterners. And I later found out that many of them were on the terrorist watch group. And that's the concern that a lot of people have about securing our borders. Tracy? Okay, indeed. Thank you so much for that report. Correspondent Eric Rosales reporting from Capitol Hill tonight.